Hi everyone, this is Frank from Tech Edify. Maybe you have been using WhatsApp for some time now, but you haven't seen these unique features about the app. Today I'm sharing with you 10 WhatsApp tips and tricks you will love to use from today. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do it right now so you don't miss any of my content. Now let's get straight into it. Tip number one, keeping track on conversations. Now if you are someone who has a lot of WhatsApp chats or conversations, you might even forget to even attend to certain conversations. So what you can do is that you can use the WhatsApp pin option to place the chat on top of your WhatsApp conversation. Now let me show you how to do that. So you just have to tap on that chat or conversation. Now when you tap on it, on, on top of your app, you can see the pin icon here so when you tab on it automatically it will pin that contact on top of your whatsapp chat so any new message that comes it won't drop up to the top your pin chat will still be the number one thing there and the ones follow so you can use this one to keep track of all your whatsapp conversation conversations that you want to attend to now secondly you can also use the mark as on red to also keep some eyes on certain conversation let's quickly tap on the chat that you have already answered or maybe read then when you tap on it then you go to the three dot here and then you choose mark as on red now when you click on mark as an on red you see that green dot there showing or indicating that this particular chat you want to attend to it because it's marking it as you've not read the message tip number two share your location maybe someone is coming to visit you and the person don't know the location that you are or the exact location that you are you can share your location to the person either it's a live location or maybe your current location now let's see how to share a location so if you want to share a location you just select the chat that you want to share the location with so you just open the chat or conversation now when you open it you just tap on the file icon here so when you tap on the file icon you see location so tap on the location we have two types of location we have your live location and then your current location normally the live location is used to send a live location maybe you are moving out to somewhere or you are traveling to somewhere but you want your family members you, you want your loved ones to keep track on you or to check exactly where you'll be moving to you can use the share live location now if you are sharing live location it has a time duration on it so you can decide to share the live location for 15 minutes or one hour or eight hours so if i tap on the eight hours and tap on send it's going to send this location to the person and the person can track every movement wherever that i move they will see my picture moving on the google map so basically this is very good whenever maybe you are going to an unknown place that you want your family members to keep an eye on you you can use the live location but if you want to send just your current location now you just use send your current location and the system will just stop and send your current location so that's how you can share your location with others tip number three creating of pools now with the new whatsapp features you can just create a pool and then use it to take opinions from people i'm going to show you how to create a pool in a group conversation now when you come to the file icon you see pool and when you come there you need to put up your question so i'm just going to ask a question in the group and say what business are you starting in 2023 so that's my question i'm going to give options for them to choose from so over here you can add as many options as you want so we have the ad so i'm going to add some options here and the second one i'm going to give another option so i'm adding the last one okay so from here you can just hit on the send and automatically it's going to post this pool in the group so that people can take take their opinion from so i'm just going to send it there and then you see my pool that i just created so i say what business are you starting in 2023 so in the group members can vote so that i get their opinions on whatever that i want to hear from them so they can just tap on it and then 
you will see the various vote counts that will come and then you can view all the votes that will come tip number four creating a call link now with the new whatsapp feature you can create a call link and share it with people or your friends you can take up to 32 people so if you want to create a call link this is how you go about it you go to your call tab on your whatsapp application then you click on create calling now when you click on create calling we have type of what call so you can decide to choose a video link or a voice so here i'm choosing a voice type so here i've created a call link here so i can just share this link with my friends or maybe copy the link here and then whoever that i want to share this call or join me with the conversation i can just paste it and send it to the person so the person can just tap on it and join a call tip number five managing your whatsapp storage now one thing is that most of the conversations and the uh, medias that people send to you and that of those that you send they all pile up and take into the space or the storage that you have on your phone now one thing is that you can use the whatsapp manage storage to clear some of data that you don't need so that you can release some space on your phone now how do you do that you go to your whatsapp menu that is the thread dot here and now you come to settings now when you come to settings you go to storage and data so when you go to storage and data you see manage storage so as you can see i have used almost two gigabytes of my storage on the phone so if you see we have a lot of uh, data that have been duplicated or that has been forwarded many times i can clear all these data from here so i can release some space on my phone so when you come here you can select all those data if you don't need them you want to delete them you can just select all of them and as you can see it's almost 324.8 megabyte of data so if i delete or tap on this delete button it's going to clear all these data and then reserve some space for my phone now one thing is that if you come back here to you see some chat conversations and the various data that are pile up in those various chat uh, when you want to clear those data from the chat conversations or contact you can just simply tap on it and now you see the various data that you want to delete so you can just go through those unrelevant data that you don't need you can check all of them so you can just hold it and then tap on it to select the, those data that you would, you don't want and then you can just press the delete button on top here and then you say delete it's going to clear all those space tip number six sharing status information to facebook now one thing is that you can share your whatsapp status data onto your facebook account this is how you go about it so you just go to your whatsapp status or the whatsapp status that you have then you tap on the thread dot here now when you tap on the thread dot there's another thread dot to the status that you want to share so you just tap on it now we have forward share to facebook and now you can see your facebook account already there so when you tap on the share button it's going to post this whatsapp status to your facebook account so that is how you can share your whatsapp status to facebook tip number seven creating a community now whatsapp has added new feature that can allow you to merge groups now currently whatsapp groups can take almost up to 1024 participants unlike the previous one that was 256 and they updated it to 512 and now it's almost 1024 so if you are someone who manage a lot of groups maybe i have about four groups or i have about five groups that i want to merge all of them into a community you can create a community for this group and merge all these groups together so that whenever you post a conversation in the community all those groups will receive it now how do you do that you have to go to the community tab this is the new tab that they have added here so if you want to create your own community you tap on the new community and now you give your community a name so you can give out the description for your community what your community is about you can just give a short description about it and then you can also change your community icon by browsing for a picture and then set it as a community icon 
so you can just update that one and then you tap on the next icon now over here you can create a new group if you don't have an existing group or if you have an existing group you can just click on add existing group and then add all those groups into the new community that we are creating and when you do that it's going to merge all of these pages onto one community tip number eight backing up your whatsapp chat to google drive now one thing is that whatsapp chat can be back up to google drive so in case you change your phone you don't lose all your conversations now if you want to back up all your whatsapp chat to google drive this is what you do you have to go to your whatsapp menu the three dot here and then you come to the settings now when you go to the settings then you tap on the chat now when you tap on the chat you come down here you see chat backup so when you go to the chat backup now this is how you go about it now this is when you come down here you see the backup to google drive though so you can set out the frequency whether you want it to back up daily weekly monthly or when i tap on backup so here you decide on whatever frequency that you want to use now when you come down from the backup drive then you see your google account so which of the your email account do you want to back up your chat onto so here you select the google account that you want to back up all your whatsapp conversations too now if you want to include videos that means videos that comes through your whatsapp chat you want to back them up also onto google drive you can just slide this one and it will just back up all videos so it will calculate and let you know the total number of videos or data that need to be uploaded so that is it you can use this one and then back up all your whatsapp chat onto google drive so that you don't lose any data you can turn on the end-to-end -end encryption of your backup so that no one can temper with your whatsapp the whatsapp chat that are backup onto google drive not even whatsapp will be able to access it so you can just turn it on and then all your chat will be encrypted that means the data that are being back from your phone to the google drive there is an encryption to it nobody can access the content of it tip number nine creating of avatar now this is a new feature that they have added to the whatsapp application now this is how you can create an avatar let me show you how to do that go to the tab your whatsapp menu here and you come to settings now when you come to settings you see avatar so just tap on avatar and then you can hit on the create your avatar button when you tap on your create avatar button you see get started so you can personalize your avatar appearance and share with your friends or maybe use it as your profile picture so you click on that get started and then over here you need to choose your skin tone for your avatar so here i will pick brown okay and then go to next now when you go to next now you can customize how your avatar should look like so we have the hairstyle so you can pick a different hairstyle here so that is if you want this one you can pick it now one thing is that you can even change the you can even change the hair color as well so maybe you want to use this you can just pick it out now when you go there we have a lot of features here so when you tap your face shape you can change your face shape okay so maybe i want to use this as my face shape now when you go down there we also have face marking so we have a lot of features that you can choose so maybe i want this face marking and now when you click on this one we have face line so you can go on and on and on and check all these nice 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 settings that you can use to apply to your avatar at the end of the day i'll save the changes and now my avatar has been successfully created so i'll just go to next and now this is my avatar it's looking great right so um you can use this one as your profile or maybe share it with friends and the last tip that is tip number 10 changing your whatsapp appearance now whatsapp appearance normally comes with a light appearance that is a white interface now if you want to change your appearance and use the dark mode one of my favorite thing i normally love using the dark mode so let's see how to change your whatsapp appearance now you go to your three dot here and now you come to the settings and when you come to the settings then you come to the chat 
so when you go to the chat we have what we call team so when you tap on the team we have the light one that's the current one i'm using now if you want to make it the dark mode you just tap on the dark and then you click ok and then automatically it has changed my whatsapp appearance i hope if you enjoy these tips on these new whatsapp features and update that they have done so go ahead and then customize your whatsapp and change all these nice nice things that i've showed you and then don't forget to comment if you don't understand anything i'll be right in the comment section to answer you i thank you for watching this video and keep watching and subscribing to my channel